the maintenance plan I would really I'm going to uh, keep that till the end uh, so I can cover some of these other topics uh, the maintenance plan is a really easy wizard to use and um, uh, I, I think these other topics deserve more uh, more importance so actually uh, let's talk about uh, compression and then it says it's about time this is really exciting feature that uh, that's new to SQL Server 2008 uh, for years third-party vendors like Quest Lightspeed and there are uh, a number of them have been offering this functionality and why does it really matter to have compression well uh, several reasons one is obviously uh, disk space uh, as your databases grow over time uh, and you have more and more databases uh, this doesn't become an issue if you're using compression it will keep the size small uh, but a second more important point is the time it takes to back up a database and the time it takes to restore a database if you have a smaller file uh, and you're using compression it will uh, generally take less time to do both backup and restore and um, so finally this is here in SQL Server uh, I will uh, I already uh, ran this but I will show you the scripts so that you can uh, see that I'm not making things up um, we will use AdventureWorks 2008 to compare the results uh, and let's just uh, look look at the results real quick uh, with no compression notice that the backup database took nine seconds okay and with compression it took five seconds so automatically you just saved half the time um, if you go to the um, why I keep closing this um, file I should keep this open um, notice that um, down here I have the compression actually the no compression backup and this look at the size this is 186 megabytes in size and then I have the um, adventure works with compression which is 44 megabytes so automatically I believe that's 25% uh, less space. So if you were doing a lot of backups, uh, you know, a lot of databases, this will definitely make a difference. Um, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to uh, essentially pull up these scripts. Uh, I think I saved these backup using compression. So really, uh, well, let me pull up the other script also. Okay, um, that's it. All right, no worries. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Okay, um, for the compression, all it really needs is one keyword compression in there okay so uh, this looks very similar in uh, syntax except for that keyword I'm going to go ahead and add another in here so we can just say whatever the date today is Let's, so let me just run this with no compression first Notice it took close to 10 seconds, uh, close to the uh, the demo I had, and now I just changed the name of the compression, and I'm going to go ahead and add a date. And some of these other terms, these are just uh, options that you can put in in your um, backup command. Really, the main important thing is you're saying backup this database to disk. Okay, and stats just shows you what percent of it is done. It's nice to have that if you have a big database. So I changed the name and I am using the keyword exp uh, compression. That doesn't like my syntax. So we need a comma here. Okay, that 
this one. It's happy. When it's happy, we are happy. Okay, so look, uh, it took five seconds. The other one had taken uh, something like close to 10 seconds. If I go to the folder, um, again, look at the size, same thing. I mean, no compression, 186 megabytes with compression, 44 megabytes. So very cool feature to have and that you should be aware of and definitely uh, use that. So moving on to uh, the second part of things, backup is great, but uh, you obviously need to, you may need to restore the database, which uh, restore really means is to replace or copy over a new or existing database. In a complete uh, database restore, the goal is to restore the whole database. Um, the whole database is offline for the duration of the restore, which means it is inaccessible to the users. All uh, data is recovered to a consistent point in which all parts of the database are at the same point in time and no uncommitted transactions exist. So a lot of technical jargon there, but essentially a restore means you are replacing the database. And here is a um, little uh, demonstration of a database failure scenario. I am using this from MSDN. You will be, uh, you should be able to find it online. But here, let's just gonna walk through this. Here is our database. Uh, we have timeline going this way. So the first thing we need, we do is uh, remember our starting point is full database. So let's say this could be at every hour. So this is our starting point is our zero hour. So after one hour, we do a full database. Then uh, looks like we do a bunch of log backups down here. Okay, then uh, we do a differential backup, um, looks like at six o'clock, okay. And then we uh, again start doing log backups every hour. So we go seven, eight, nine, and at 10, uh, right at 10, or actually before 10, looks like the database uh, server crashed or something happened. So it says a failure occurred. The next thing you need to do at that point is to do a tail log backup essentially if if you are able to do that uh, depending on your situation so this will uh, essentially is pointing to t10 would be our tail log backup and so when we recover uh, when we're trying to restore this the path to take would be to restore the full database first then the differential and then all the log backups and then finally the uh, tail log backup and that's uh, in a sense, what I just said, uh, written here, so just to kind of hammer the point, you restore the full database, full database backup first. You have to do that as a first step. Then you do the differential backup, which is T6. And then you restore from the log backups, which reapplies all the transactions between the last uh, DB backup and log backup. So first, uh, you will apply the regularly scheduled log backups, which were T7 through T9, and then finally T10, which is the tail log backup. And it, it does say that it may not be possible if the disk is damaged. So as far as uh, showing this uh, in action, um, first I'm